Hi guys, Steve here. This is just a quick follow up on how I'm getting on, or not so much, with the Google Stadia. If you watched my last video, you'll know that the main Stadia app doesn't work with older smartphones. I have a Samsung Galaxy A5 2016 edition. When I searched for Google Play Store, I couldn't find the Stadia app. And when I clicked on a link to take me to the Stadia app, it told me my phone was incompatible. So I can't install the Stadia app on my smartphone. I can't create a Stadia account, because the only way to do it is with the Stadia app. I can't connect up or register the controller, because the only way to do that is with the Stadia app again. So yeah, at the moment, I can't use Stadia at all. I wasn't going to give up though. Google have promoted that you can also play Stadia on your computer, and that's what I'm going to try and do on this video. Now there are no instructions in the box to tell you how to get Stadia to work on a computer. I searched the internet and again couldn't find any instructions, apart from one single article that came from PC Gamer. How to use Stadia on your PC. Alright, let's scroll down to where it tells you. Right, you need to open it in Google Chrome, Google's own browser. Then go to stadia.google.com. Then log into your account. And according to this, that's all it takes to get you going. You should be greeted by a big launch button for your last game played. Oh. Well, I haven't played a game because I can't create an account. Anyway, let's go to stadia.google.com because there must be a way to create a Stadia account on a website. Right, I'm on the Google Chrome browser. I've logged into the right web address, stadia.google.com. I've signed into my account, my Google account in the top right. So that's just sign up for updates or buy. Scroll down the page. There's a Stadia app download, but only for your phone. And that's it. Google's new entire gaming platform solely relies on that you can download the Stadia app on your phone. But if your phone's a few years old, then the Stadia app is incompatible and you can't get any of it to work unless you buy a new phone. But what amazes me the most is somebody at Google made the most retarded decision of not letting us even create a Google Stadia account on a web page. You know, the thing that every other company in the world lets us do. So we could create a Stadia account, browse some games, and at least try and play this on a computer. I can't even create a Stadia account to show you what it's like on a computer. Never mind that if I had a computer, I wouldn't even need Stadia in the first place. <laughs> So yeah, I suppose this is where my Stadia videos end. If your phone can't handle the Stadia app, you're screwed. There's no point even ordering it. But before I go, I want to try and help the people who are thinking about getting Stadia. Can everyone who's watching this who's got Stadia, tell us in the comments below what phone you have and if the Stadia app works with it or doesn't work with it. That way we'll save a lot of people from being pissed off and finding out after they've ordered it that they can't even use Stadia. Unlike me, they're going to find that they've got an expensive doorstop. I hope this video has been informative, and if it has, please like, subscribe, share, click the bell, the usual, and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.